Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here. Uh, we're back playing the Secret Secret World, of course. This pretty much ca carries on from uh, the last sort of the recent videos I've done, about four of them. This will be part five, I guess. Yeah, and I'm hoping to have a, a good old uh, uh, thrash at the Secret World over the next uh, next couple of weeks. Uh, try and get to some places and have a look at, at stuff I haven't seen before. Uh, and I thought I'd do some recording. Why not? He says. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of really into the whole. I say into it. <laughs> Uh, I've kind of always been into it, I guess, but I've, I've, <coughs> I've been reading, um, uh, as I've said before, I'm reading a lot of, lot of HP Lovecraft recently, so I'm really into the, the whole horror theme sort of stuff, <coughs> and, and, and it's, and I think, I think Secret World kind of deserves uh, my time or anyone's time, anyone who likes MMOs, even if you sort of play them fairly casually like me, you know, because it's just a great game. The environments are lovely, um, loads of atmosphere. The, the sort of the skill system, the way the skill systems work, uh, is very different from from most other MMOs. Uh, there's some great sort of voice acting and story. Some uh, all, all the missions have got a little story behind them, and they're all very, really interesting, particularly if you're into this kind of thing. Um, yeah, and I really recommend it. It deserve, deserves it with time. I don't think that. I think uh, I think Funcom recently said that um, uh, Secret World. And uh, an anarchy online, amazingly, uh, it's, it, you know, it's doing really well for them, and seeing an increase in players, and that's good. But, but, but uh, yeah, but I, I, it's just, it, I think it's because of, uh, I think what happens is, is that a new, a new, there's so many new MMOs coming out now. It, it, you know, people just get a bit. I know that I do get a bit swamped by them all, and, and you kind of want to try them all, but you, but you don't, cause, you know, because you haven't got the time or the money or, or whatever, whatever the reasons may be. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and, and it just—I I, I just think that the, the, the amount of MMOs that we've got now that doesn't it, it makes it quite problematic, and there, and it's obviously it's, it's the in thing, particularly on on the new consoles that are coming out. So we're going to see a whole lot more of them. But as I said, Secret World is awesome. It definitely deserves your time. Now I'm doing a quest called Drawgnet, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Officer Officer Andy has given me a quest to um, just check out ch check out the uh, the sort of the the, the creatures that are coming out of the sea. Uh, just for a bit of a recap, um, I mean, I mean, Kingsmouth, and um, Kingsmouth was sort of, uh, as you can see, it's all doom and gloom and and horrory, and Kingsmouth seems to have been sort of taken over by some um, some sort of mist out the sea, uh, some sort of sea sea fog thing, and all these creatures have come out of the uh, have come out of the fog, yeah, and, and causing all sorts of stuff. And Andy wants me to investigate the creatures. Um, so I've got to go. Just go, I've got, I think the, I think I, I think ultimately the quest needs me to investigate some. Uh, let's get out of the way of that. I think ultimately the quest wants me to investigate some some pods that the creatures coming out of. But uh, it's typical for these kind of games, um, you know. Obviously, you need to you need to kill some things first before you get to that point. We've got to kill some. Um, I've got to kill some uh, Fager, Fagir. For fear, uh, I'm not quite sure that how that's pronounced. Uh, impalers, so that's kind of what we're doing at the moment. Now, combat combat in EverQuest is essentially is essentially based around spamming some spamming builders uh, that, that build up resources, and then you have you have other skills that use those resources up and do more damage. You generally tend to, tend to use two weapons basically, because uh, each weapon has got has got its own builders and, and finishers. What you can do, like I'm use, currently using a sword and uh, uh, a sword and um, uh, pistols, uh, dual pistols, as you can see. Um, and it, if I use a sword, that kind of builds up. Um, it builds up resources for pistols and sword. So what I can do is build up resources. Normally it's sort of five, uh, four or five, and then you can use the uh, the finishers, which just do, do just do more damage. That's essentially the way that the, the combat works. <coughs> use your builders to build up resources. And then you use up your resources with the, the big attacks. Um, it's all quite sort of clicky uh, and basic. You know, I, I can't honestly can't sit here and say it's super duper involved or anything like that. There are builds and certain certain weapons uh, synergize better with other weapons. You know, there's a uh, there's no getting away from that. That that's that's how it works, and that's quite good. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, the, the combat's quite clicky. It's not it's not going to amaze you. I think it's just I think it's the atmosphere and the stories and all that sort of stuff that's really gonna uh, gonna pull you in if anything is. Oh, 
I think my only sword build, my only sword finisher at the moment is an area effect one, so it probably doesn't do as much damage as a, <coughs> a single target one would. What I'm doing, I've got some ideas for this character, um, and it's probably not going to end up being pistol sword, but but we'll uh, we'll sort that out as, as we get further into the game. Now I've got to kill some, uh, I've got to kill some Fager maulers, and destroy brood pods. Now I'm assuming that oh these are the brood pods. Okay, what's that there? Fager sea caller. <laughs> it's a bit worrying that how something's supposed to be so grotesque and monstrous. Uh, they're given it, given given her quite a sexy, <laughs> quite a sexy walk there. <laughs> or is it worrying that it, that it seems a bit, a bit like that? <laughs> Maybe I need to look at myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's. What the hell is she doing? Where are you going? Come back here. No running away. I think one of my skills there, my, my pistol skill, seems to give me a little heal, like heal over time as well. Nothing drastic. Okay. Well, luckily, I found a I found a beach here with a load of pods, so we can uh, we can sort those out. I don't know if anything comes out of the pods when you destroy them. Uh, no, it doesn't. Something something just dies, basically. Fair enough. No, things just die. And these are the pods I need to be killing, which is pretty cool. It's a uh, all very slimy work. I mean, there must be a. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'd be I'd be going home every hour, taking a shower personally. <laughs> Don't like the slime. Um, let's pull this dude over. Yeah, I've got I've got to, I've got to, Oh, holy smoke! Oh, wow! That was a big area of effect. Yeah, you can you can sort of the creatures have these special attacks, and you can move out the way of them if you're if you're quicker than me. Wow, this guy's got a lot of hit points. Some of the fights might might, might be a bit slow uh, for a while until, until I actually uh, <laughs> put some more points into the skills that to the weapons that I actually want to use. But I need to get those weapons first. I think I'll probably be using the pistols with something, but we'll have to see. There we go. Dead. What have I got there? Talisman toolkit, quality level two. As you can see, I mean, it's just lovely. I love the, the mist and the stuff that's going on. If you like your, if you like your horror stuff, you you'll love this. Really, let's get out. Can I get out of the way of that? Woohoo! Get out of the way of it then. Well, I don't know if that particular skill, oh, that particular skill, does use my pistol, uh, my pistol resources. I'm not sure if it did or not. Yeah, it sort of, kind of does. <laughs> I think. There we go. Super dramatic music. Always awesome. Okay, so we need one more of the maulers. I think... Uh, that one there? No, that's an impaler. Okay. And that's an impaler up there. Right. Impaler. Mauler. There we go. Oh, out of the way. Oh, that's an awesome attack. <laughs> We're getting away of that. that. That pistol attack there seems to start off sort of on the right. What when I use it? As you can see, yeah, it kind of brings it round. <laughs> Not sure if that's purposeful or not, but that's pretty awesome if it is. Okay. Bloody hell, I can hear something. What the hell's going on? Oh, oh my god! Oh! Why she moved away there? Maybe she's going to do a range attack if she's got some uh, some distance between us. Look 
cool there we go right so next part of the quest what I like about the, the quest in this game and I guess it's following, following a bit of a trend is you don't need to keep returning to the uh, you don't need to keep returning to the, um, the quest giver which is really oh, just a <laughs> just brilliant I just, I just hate doing that in MMOs now it's one of my it's one of my pet hates now um, returning to the quest givers now I need to kill I need to kill these incubators I think they kind of look a bit like these guys, but it looks like they're carrying those pods on their back. Um, oh. uh, from what I can tell, looking at the looking at the map, I'm in the right area. Quest. I'm in the right sort of area to find them. Hmm. Okay. Well, goddamn. That's not one, is it? I can't. I don't see any. Drowned mariner. Uh, oh man, where the hell are they? Kill the incubators. I'm right in the middle of. Uh, I'm right in the middle of the section on on the map where it's telling me the quest. The quest thing you should be. It's not those. That's the pods. I've killed those. Um, you just hate that when they give you a, they actually they go to the effort of marking on the map for you where the uh, where the quest mob should be and it's not here I've seen it before I mean, I mean even though you don't need to have alts on this game <laughs> I still still manage it somehow and uh these pods don't. Oh, oh god damn. Oh no, the pod's open. There's two of the buggers now. God's sake. The other one looks like he's got summoning sickness though. He's not there. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's not coming at me. What I quite like about this game, I mean, obviously, it's a much slimmer version. I quite like these sort of. More contemporary, contemporary set games because you can kind of create someone who looks a little bit like yourself, albeit a lot slimmer, as I said. <laughs> Things taking quite a long time to kill. I don't, um, I'm not really having any problems, but I think it's because I haven't put a huge amount of points into anything yet. So I'm waiting to get a particular weapon, and uh, and I'll start pumping that up. Um, well, I can't find these. I can't find these incubators. It's a pain in the ass. Um, it's definitely not that. That's a that's a brood witch. It's def oh, there they are. They're, these guys look a bit like snails. They've got uh, got a big shell on the back. Look at that, awesome. Uh, can I pull this guy? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ugly sons of a bitch use some of these things. <coughs> some of the sea callers. I'm assuming that they're I'm assuming that it's all it's all social aggro. And they move so slow. <laughs> they are kind of um <laughs> kind of splitting up a bit. But <laughs> quite slowly. Oh no, okay, no social aggro there, that's alright. I'm not being particularly efficient with my attacks at the moment. They're pretty easy though, no problems there. Come on. Okay. Oh man. Look at the big dudes there, where are they disappeared? 
Ist out. Burying grounds, got achievement, kill 100 zombies. Oh, and I almost killed, oh, I almost dead myself. I'll let my, um, I'll let my health go back up again. I was kind of getting myself surrounded there. I wonder where those guys went. As if some of these guys kind of walked over and uh, knelt down and disappeared. That was weird. Let's deal with this dude first. <clears throat> Probably only end up aggroing him anyway. <laughs> Make some amazing noises. Okay. <clears throat> God damn. I could just use my. Uh, I could just play the old range game if that's what she wants to do. Because my because my other finisher is a uh, is a uh, is melee range only. Uh, you kind of lose some damage. Though. That's a problem. I've, I've seen quite a lot of people on the forums kind of saying, "Can you just sort of maybe for role playing purposes or whatever?" Uh, can you just sort of stick with, with one weapon? And I suppose you could do, but you do, you would then lose uh, the, f the finisher uh, for the uh, for the second weapon. So you're certainly losing out on damage. I think also probably there was just e e even if you're not using that weapon, you know, there are just some sk certain skills in certain trees that just uh, can help no matter what what weapon you're using. So yeah, I think you I think you'd probably end up going into different trees anyway. I'm really low on life here. What the hell have I been doing? I think I better kite this. Can I kite this guy a bit? Maybe not, and I'll probably end up walking into something else. Will I? No? Okay. Okay, that's that part of the quest done. <clears throat> now we've got to kill the blood, the brood witches, which I think are these big sons of bitches here. Yeah. They tend to be surrounded by lots of other mobs as well. Alright, okay. I might end up fighting two here. Yeah, I'm going to end up fighting two. <laughs> Great. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh, these guys are bloody tough. Right, let's run. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, it's two, it's another one. I'm going to die. Oh, my God. Have I got any, uh, got any healing -y, potion -y things? No, I don't think I have. Nothing at all. Oh, God damn. Okay. I collapsed from physical exhaustion, apparently. Yeah, these, these animal whales are your spawn points, uh, as you find them. You kind of spawn at them. You have to go back to your body to get your... Uh, I think this must be your soul, I would imagine. And yeah, your soul enters back into your body. Not too much of a problem. This is actually... I, I've sort of done this quest a few times now, and it's actually one of the... I would say one of the, the least enjoyable, because it just means you're killing so much stuff. You know, it's just a kill quest, basically. Whereas, uh, I think quite often, a lot of the quests are, are very interesting. There's quite a, lot of, quite a lot of good story behind them. Let's resurrect. There we go. Okay, so we only killed one. We've only got one of the blood witches so far. Uh, brood witches, I should say. There seems to be there seems to be two of them there. I'm not sure if they they seem to be joined in some way. Is that one there? No. Nope. There's one. I would quite like to pull her on her own. <laughs> no idea how. Uh, Realistic that is. They do seem to be surrounded by a few, a few different zombies. Um, there's one there. They see it all move so slow as well, so you kind of, you know, you you wait for an opening, but it's all uh, 
Do you know what? I'm, I'm playing this wrong, aren't I? Stupid. Why am I trying to dodge things? Let's kill things to, take, to move them out of the way. <clears throat> Just to make it easier to pull something else. Surely that's got to be the... Uh, <laughs> That's got to be the way, the way to do it, you know, resort to typical MMO style gameplay. You know. Cool, okay, here we go. Right. It's taking a lot of damage at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not, that's not going to pull on its own, is it, that one? Uh, this one's got one of those poddy dudes near it. Again, it's all, everything's, they're all linked, there's no... No singles. What's that? Oh, saying that. There we go. I don't know what the hell she's doing. She's <laughs> she's be spurting something out of her stomach while looks at things. <laughs> awesomely gross that is there you go <laughs> I've got uh, what we got one more uh, I think that she looks like a look at that dude over there I think she looks like a she looks like a single pool as well maybe maybe let's go over here a bit She squirt stuff out of her stomach. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nice. There was a big dude over there. Looked like uh, looked a bit like a fulu, actually. I guess. Um, is a uh, is a Fager or the Fager Lord? We just saw him. He's a massive bloke. Massive. I say, well, he's obviously. Not as big as Cthulhu, of course, but he's much bigger than uh, some of the other things I've been killing. There he is. Hey, man. Nah, actually, maybe he's not like Cthulhu, really. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, he's coming in. Holy smoke, he's big. Oh, he's got a big, uh, big something, big attack. <laughs> you out of the way of that. I've taken a little in the way of damage at the moment. It's pretty cool. He seems to be doing mostly range attacks. I was saying that, I'm taking a fair bit of damage. I keep glancing, but the damage keeps glancing off him as well. Oh, I think we're going to do... There we go. Cool. Spectacular death. Spectacular death, I should say. And there you go. At the end of that, essentially, you uh, you send your report. You completed the quest. Uh, I think you send your report to... You don't have to go and... I don't have to go and report back to Andy, uh, who gave us the mission. But I just... Uh, oh, wow, look at that. There's a massive, massive health increase. With, uh, there's some talismans here. I've got a choice of talismans to choose from. I quite like that one. I get loads of hell from that one. Let's let's take that one. Yeah, so I make a report to my uh, to my faction about about the quest I've just done. I get a reward of some XP and some coins and uh, things of sort of monetary nature. And I also picked up. Uh, do, do, do. So look at the inventory. I picked up these uh, laundry tokens. I've already got some dice. So if I if I replace those, that's a nice little increase to my health. Cool. Okay. And that's it from a quest point of view. Oh, there's a lore item there. Let's go and pick that up. You got these scattered around the around the world. They just uh, lore I lore tokens or items, whatever you want to call them. You can read them and they and they tell you different things about the uh, about the place you're in and what's going on. Um, and that's that, that's it for the quest. That's what I really like. You know, I finished that quest. I don't need to go back to the uh, the quest giver. Uh, and that's it. What I would like to do is get on to. Oh, is this, let's have a look at this ship. There's a have a law tokeny thing up there. Oi, how do we get up? I don't know. I imagine we pr pr can probably just get 
just get near it maybe and click on it can we do that no nope. I'm sorry I'm obviously missing something completely stupid here up there maybe uh, I bet that was it there we go <laughs> All that just to get a lore item. And I'm not even reading them at the moment. I, I will go back and read them at some point because, I mean, it's worth doing. It, it all adds flavour to, to the game. Uh, now, I think I've come a long way from the main town here, from what I can what I can tell. Uh, the good thing about the game is that you can... Uh, there's sort of quests just scattered around. So you might... I mean, I, mean, I think at, at some point I, I was on a beach and I found a message in a bottle. And that kind of led to a quest. Uh, so that's a good thing about it. You can just kind of pick up quests wherever, really. You don't necessarily need to be uh, in a main quest hub. And, I, and I, I'm quite a bit out of town here, so let's uh, let's let's put a bit of sprint on. Let's see if we can find any quests around here. Really? Oh, bugger! The lobster trap, seafood restaurant, awesome. <laughs> we'll, 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 have a, we'll have a closer look at this. I'm not sure what's here. Let's clear these. Ah, uh, oh, for God's sake. That's a real pain in the eyes, that is. Things don't seem to have levels as such. I mean, when you click on them, their name is a certain colour. I, I don't know if that denotes how tough they're supposed to be, but uh, that creature's name was red. And I didn't have any trouble there. Oh, a helicopter going over again. Whoa, hello, help! <laughs> there seems to be. Ah, oh, there's a bit of lore, right? There's a, a law thingy up there. How do we get out there? A, a ladder here. The only, thing I, the, only, the only thing that kind of becomes a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, is the fact that there are, there are where there where there are creatures there are a lot of them, uh, and you do tend to find yourself uh, just yeah just just aggroing stuff because it's difficult to avoid really. I love the whole double pistol thing. I think I spoke about it in the previous video, but what I would oh bug up, <laughs> well dodge Bob. What I would really like would be to create. Uh, create a western sort of themed character. And I think you could, could probably do that, but um, the only thing I'm not sure about is if, is if it would if it would be possible to. I imagine all the pistols look quite differently. You know, it looks, look quite differently. I imagine all the, all the pistols and weapons look quite different. You know, and and there may be times where I've got pistols that are better than the ones I've got, but don't necessarily look like western ones. I think that's the problem. Uh, and for a themed character, I think it would look a bit odd. Uh, dressed as a oh, <laughs> dressed as a cowboy, um, I'm wielding a couple of modern pistols. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but pistols, are, pistols are one of the weapons that I'm, I'm thinking of, of sticking with. We'll have to. We just have to see. Oh, Bob! For God's sake, you're such a king noob. Let's try that. Let's try that again. It's not. It's not rage. This must be. <laughs> <laughs> this must be the way of doing it. it. Must be. There we go. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard after all. There we go. I must read some of these. Don't want to disturb the drowned mariner. There looks. Uh, Let's be eating the body there. Just, uh, just sort of. Uh, yeah. Just uh, almost. Uh, oh bloody hell! Yeah. Quite aggressive. Returned townie. These are just the uh, level one newbie guys. There is a there is a ladder. There's a, there's a there's a ladder here. Let's have a look. I probably do need to uh, go and get another quest. But it's uh, I do like. Oh, there's another lore item. There we go. That's what I love. That's what I. Uh, no, we'll leave that for now. I'll come back for that one. That's what I personally like about MMOs and uh, any 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 sort of any sandbox game really is the. Uh, the exploration and stuff, looking around, finding, discovering new things. There's a ton of zombies around here. There's a quest here involving this uh, this circle. I don't think I've done it yet, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll, re we'll record that. Here we go. Now there's a little quest. You get different types of quests. If you, if you mouse over on the right here, you've got your main 
there's a dungeon mission you've got a main mission that you can have and then you can also have some um, uh, some little side quests I've actually got one here look uh, neither snow nor rain nor zombies go to the raven's knock okay we'll do that in a minute Let, let's have a look at this quest first uh, rotting squid fill these cartons and the stench rips at the nostrils <laughs> someone or something has a taste for putrid squid and several boxes have been pulled off the truck okay Whatever gorged itself on the squid left an obvious trail. Okay, so little quest, just picked up a quest, that's it. Apparently there's uh, the tentacle trail. Fox or squid. Okay, so it looks like we've got to follow this trail of... Some <laughs> there's one on the, on the fence there. There's some boxes of squid here. And that's what I like about, about the game, that, that I think. I know that a lot of MMOs are starting to adopt this kind of gameplay. There's another, another box down there. But I do like those games where you just find quests. You don't have to be. At, you don't have to be at a quest hub. You don't have to go back to get the quests. They're all just. Uh, they're all just there. Let's have a pop at these townies. I've only got one. I've only got one sort of area of effect attack at the moment, and that's that. Oh, <laughs> dodge there. Didn't mean to. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, box of squid. Oh god damn. They're so sensitive. Sensitive these zombies. I've left you in peace there. I'm only using one attack and then I'm doing doing my uh, area of effect attack. Don't need to muck about using swords and pistols there. Now there's a box of squid there, isn't there? Uh let's pull let's pull these dudes. See what happens. There's a pile of squid there, a pile of boxes on at the waterfront. Interesting to see what's. Uh, I must have done this quest before, but I don't quite. I don't quite remember it. There's a squid. Oh, it's an unopened box. There we go. It must be. He's going to come back for that. <laughs> uh, right about now. There we go. It's. <laughs> oh, he's going for the squid. Oh my god, that's a big area of effect. Get out there. Get the hell out of there. And I think we'll probably fight this in the same the same way as we did the other one. It's like an, another mini uh, another mini um, Cthulhu. Dead, there we go. Send report, another quest done. What do we get for that? Okay, we've got another talisman. A uh, we've got a ring this time. We can have that one, which increases our health, heal rating, and crit power rating. But it does it does take down our attack rating. There's another one there with a load of health, but again, it takes down our attack rating. I'll take that one because it's kind of it increases all of our all of our skills, if only for a you know slightly smaller amount. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's make our way back to town because. Uh, Obviously, as as I said, you don't need to uh, <laughs> you don't need to go back to the quest hubs <laughs> to do quests. Obviously, that that's where some quests are. So <laughs> I guess it makes sense to be around them to a certain extent. I'm sure we'll find something else on on the way back though to do. I think that's a fire station there, which that we've seen in a, in a previous video. So um, yeah, there's a fireman. Sorry, dude, I'm not stopping. A squid one, we've just done that. Crashed car. Ah, there we go. Right now, clean as corpse. Now we've done this one before. Uh, I was at Charles Park, um, but we'll do it again. You can repeat the quest after a period of time, so we'll do that. This one involves uh, looking at a phone. I think this possibly could have been someone from a different agency. Uh, there's something hidden near the church. Totally exaggerating these wounds. Well, she's dead now, mate. So obviously she wasn't exaggerating them uh, that much. Let's head to the church. I th uh, the phone there said that there's a. There seems to be like a keypad hidden, and you need to in you need to input the number of the hymn that they were going to play. Uh, I think the church. I think uh, from what I can remember, if you're running a church, church has got wards on it, and uh, and it kills the zombies. 
Okay, the first uh, first hymn they're going to play, and that's five seven six. There we go. Little mound of dirt here, here, because you can see I've done, I've done this before. <laughs> Use the keypad. Uh, five seven six. Okay. So forward in some footage. I think this. I think this is some sort of intel from a. Uh, about Henry Hawthorne and, his, and the church. Oh, okay. I think I think one of the other uh, factions was, was what was trying to discover stuff about the church. Uh, Illuminati, by the looks of it. There we go. So another another quest done. Some more uh, more XP and stuff. I've got loads of skill. I've got loads of uh, uh, points to use, but I haven't I haven't used them yet. Here's Henry Hawthorne. He's uh, you get a couple of quests from him. And we'll do some of his quests, I think. But I think I will save it for the next video. What I'll do is I'll end this video here. And we'll be back soon again with some more Secret World. Thanks for watching.